It doesn't matter what the job may be, everybody at some point figures out a way to be more efficient with their productivity. That said, our Promodoro techniques and our little shortcuts aren't as impressive as we once thought. It turns out many people are, well, way more naturally efficient at their jobs. From a super fast bricklayer to the ultra precise world of Chinese box wrapping, we're taking a look at 15 incredibly efficient workers you'll be mesmerized by. <sighs> Number 15. Efficient Bricklayer now you may be thinking that laying bricks is relatively simple, but you'd be very, very wrong. In fact, this work requires a lot of focus and accuracy to pull off well. And this guy has mastered the craft and then some. When it comes to their driveways, many homeowners like a little bit of creativity in their brick laying. Rather than simply having horizontal or vertical bricks, they want diagonal, zigzag patterns pleasing to the eye. Of course, that kind of work takes much, much longer than the plain and simple version, unless you're this guy. Somehow this bricklayer has mastered the craft to such an extent that he can lay a whole driveway in record time, and with high accuracy. Now you have to admire that kind of hard work, right? This guy deserves all the praise in the world for pulling this off with such confidence and speed. I think it goes without saying that this kind of efficiency comes from experience and talent, both of which this guy has in spades. Yes, I really am suggesting that bricklaying is an art. I mean, I couldn't do it, and he couldn't do voiceover work, so please stop suggesting that. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. It's time for the rare topic. Driving a truck full of logs is not necessarily one of the most straightforward jobs in the world, and that's all down to one factor, space. With only so much space on a truck, the driver often finds themselves making round trips to collect more logs. But not this guy. This guy somehow managed to load an unthinkable amount of logs onto his truck, just so he wouldn't have to make so many round trips. What do you think? Is that a genius way of being efficient, or incredibly dangerous? for other people on the roads. As always, comment down below with the hashtag RareTopic and let us know what you think about this unusual sight. Let's move on to the next one. Number 14. Made in China Anybody that's ever ordered something from China will know that they like to ship things with a lot of tape. And I mean a lot. It's a good job everything is made in China because they really do need a whole lot of it. This video shows the efforts that go into wrapping these boxes entirely in that familiar yellow tape. And you know what? It looks like a surprisingly hard job. After lining the top and bottom of the boxes with the tape, the employees can show off their efficient and fun techniques for coating the rest of it, and by that I obviously mean spinning the boxes while holding the tape. It's basically exactly how dads have been wrapping Christmas presents for decades now. Of course, this is not as easy as it seems and probably requires a whole lot of skill and accuracy, so that rules me out. The speed of which these employees are able to finish this process is pretty impressive. It takes takes around a minute, more or less. Good luck to anybody that needs to open the parcel, though. Number 13. Tuna Fishing while it may be pretty easy to eat, catching tuna isn't so simple. The whole process takes a lot of skill, strength, and expertise. Thankfully, these guys have all of that and are an excellent example of efficiency on the water. Here you see a whole lot of guys on a trolling boat, and in just a few seconds, you'll be seeing a lot of tuna flying through the air. These guys have found that the best way to catch tuna is to have many fishermen pulling them out and flinging them behind into some kind of mechanism that will collect and transport them into the tuna bucket, so to speak. It's actually kind of a genius idea and a smart solution for something that we never really think about. I mean, when you eat sushi, how often do you consider how the fishermen caught the fish? I rest my case. Fishing is an impressive skill in pretty much any and all circumstances, but this is an especially amazing image. To see this many tuna flying through the air into their eventual capture, that's a pretty good idea. Number 12. Pizza Maker 
I bet you didn't know that Domino's is the one behind the world's fastest pizza maker contest, right? Well, have it your way. No, that's Burger King. Anyway, we're about to meet the guy who won the 2016 contest, and it's unbelievable for a lack of better words. In 2016, Dennis Tran won the honor of being the world's fastest pizza maker in a fierce contest. Tran, a Domino's franchisee owner in Florida, managed to make three large pizzas in 34 seconds. 34 seconds. One pizza every 11 seconds or so. Unbelievable. Tran's prize was $3,000 in cash, a trophy, and the title of world's fastest pizza maker, and I think it's safe to say that nobody is going to try and take that away from him. I'm not sure if it's physically possible, in all honesty. I think somebody could die if they even tried. The world's fastest pizza maker competition has been held annually since 1982, but I think it's time to end it. It's done. Tran won. Back it up and give me all the pizzas. I, I mean us. I mean us, of course. I meant us. We all deserve pizza, but mostly me. Number 11. Road Painter there are a lot of essential jobs in the industry of highway maintenance, but easily one of the most important has to be the road painter. You really don't want to make a mistake on that one. Thankfully, this guy will likely never make an error. Much like every other kind of painting, road painting takes several coats to truly stick. And the road marking machine can be, well, unwieldy, but not to this man who has absolutely mastered his machine, and then some. Somehow, he's able to perfectly, accurately paint the lines he's already painted without even slowing up on the machine. It's like doing a paint by numbers while jogging. But you know, good. And what's even better is the fact that the guy clearly loves what he's doing. He's having an absolute blast while doing it. You love to see it. Naturally, this guy went viral with his impressive skills, with many people calling him a master of his craft. And you know what? There's no question about that. If the guy is a total genius, from what I I can see. Now, let me have my go on the road marking machine. Looks kind of like fun. Number 10. The Cement Carrier in some areas of the world, they still do things the old-fashioned way. In the world of construction, that means carrying all of your materials to the construction site by hand. Or if you're this guy, by shoulder. And believe me, those are some strong shoulders. This guy, who may or may not be a superhero, carries over 10 cement sacks to the construction site every single day. Ask anybody that's ever even tried to lift a cement sack, and they'll tell ya, it's hard. So to see a guy carrying over, 200 pounds of cement on his head and shoulders with no help whatsoever is, um, well, it takes a lot of talent and a whole lot of muscle to be able to do that. This is definitely one of the hardest jobs you could ever hope to have, and I can only hope that he has a nice bath and a bottle of wine or something for his hard work. This is one of those videos that you probably wouldn't believe if somebody told you about it, but seeing it for yourself, you have to admit, pretty impressive, right? Although my shoulders really ache all of a sudden. Number 9. Card Packing this is one of those jobs that none of us really think about. How do those 52 playing cards get inside the packet? The answer is human hands, and very, very talented ones. If you're working alongside these guys, when those 52 organized cards come to the card packers, the only job remaining is to pack the cards into their container. And boy, do these employees do that. Apparently, these workers have so much experience packing cards that they can now flawlessly execute their duties without Without even having to look at what they're doing. That is a sign that you're good at your job. Amusing, of course, that nobody is making any mistakes, which I absolutely believe they're not. This is a job where muscle memory and skill can really come in handy if you're a clumsy person like me. You'd be better off joining the circus. And even then, you're probably going to end up in the hospital. Card packing, as it turns out, is a highly complex and difficult job. But as we've just seen, the people that do it are more than capable and incredibly talented at it. I bet they could probably make some money claiming it as a party trick. We'll call it 52 Pack Up. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm here all video. Number 8. Fastest Cupcake Icing 
If you're a fan of food shows and reality TV, you'll know Buddy Velastro well. He is, after all, the cake boss, and with that title comes a great responsibility. He needs to show the cakes who's boss. In 2019, the cake boss made an appearance on Live with Kelly and Ryan to try and break a Guinness World Record, the most cupcakes iced in one minute. The previous record was held by one Buddy Velastro, also known as the uh, cake boss. Oh, wait a minute. Three, two, one, go. Okay, so he was trying to beat his own world record of 20 cakes. But is it possible? Yeah, actually, it is. In those 60 seconds, Velastro showed how much his skills had improved by icing 36 cupcakes. 36! Now that's the true mark of a master. Efficiency and quality all at once. Impressive. It's always amazing to beat a world record, but to beat your own world record at that? That's gotta feel pretty great, I'd bet. But then he is the cake boss, so I'm not sure why anybody expected anything else. Number 7. Fastest Window Cleaner there aren't many places in the world where fastest window cleaner would be a much contested title, but that's England for ya. Terry Turbo Burrows prides himself on being the fastest window cleaner in the UK, and he has a lot of challengers. Despite setting the world record in 2009 with an unbelievable 9.14 seconds, people are still challenging Burrows to prove his skills. And every single time he happily does so, the world record requirements are always the same. A 3.75 foot tall window, and it still must be cleaned, with absolutely no smears. Simple, right? Apparently not, since nobody has been able to best Bros's impressive time. I mean, if it was easy, we'd all be world's fastest window cleaners, right? Bros has somehow mastered the art of speed and precision in cleaning, making him the most desired man in Britain for many. Still, Bros is so confident confident and comfortable with his own skills that he's since begun challenging others to even attempt to beat his time. Unsurprisingly, nobody has succeeded. Turns out it's hard to clean a window properly in three seconds. Who'd have thought? Number 6. Fastest Model Apparently, there's a lot more to being a model than just standing still and squinting. Well, uh, maybe not a lot, but it does take some effort, so I'm told. But not for Filip Tomocevic, a model who turned himself into an internet sensation thanks to his speed and expertise. Tomocevic is known across the internet as the Catalog King thanks to one viral video that sees him striking 25 poses in 29 seconds during a photo shoot for a men's clothing line. This young 23-year-old model seems to have already figured out all of the key poses required in his line of work and has mastered a way to be efficient in giving the photographer exactly what they need. Now that's competence in your craft. That's why I nail all of my voiceovers in one run. No re-records, just pure talent. Pure, underappreciated talent. There's a reason that Tomocevic became such an internet sensation, and it all comes down to his knowledge and swift commitment to his poses. Despite his young age, Tomocevic is a pro at what he does, and good for him. I mean, I'm a pro too, but I don't have an internet nickname. It's whatever. Number 5. Tiling Skills the art of tiling is one of the most complex in the world. To quote Liam Neeson, it requires a particular set of skills. Skills that many of us sadly don't have. Because if we did, we'd probably be internet famous too. Tiling requires a lot of skills. It requires focus, creativity, a skill for measurement. You pretty much have to be an artist, a construction expert, and an architect at the same time. So I guess maybe it's not as difficult as I initially thought. I don't know. Just take a look at this young man as he puts his tiles into place, perfectly lining them all up, and making sure that every single tile fits together. It's perfect, it's precisely positioned, and safely affixed to the wall. This is not the kind of work you can do while listening to a true crime podcast. This is work work. This guy is pretty obviously talented, there's no question about that. I mean, he's tackled tiles of all shapes and sizes, and everything always comes out looking good. What more do you need, right? Number 4. Onion Cutter 
I bet that the process of cutting onions is not a fun or fast one for any of us, but for this man in India, it's kind of his life. So much that he's now practically a tourist attraction thanks to his unique approach to cutting onions. This guy spends every single day of his life chopping onions at an Indian street food place, which already sounds kind of like a nightmare. I mean, can you imagine how bad your eyes must burn after chopping hundreds of onions in a day? Anyway, that guy has basically mastered the art of chopping onions. Which seems like a wacky thing to say, but just watch. Even with a blindfold on, he's somehow chopping up the onions quickly and precisely. And that is… incredible. Absolutely incredible! According to some, this guy chops up an onion faster than a blender could. Which is high praise, I think. Even if you're not especially impressed by this uber-fast onion cutter, you have to admire the kinds of skills on display here. And even if you're not going to appreciate them, the blindfold is a good trick for onions? Number 3. Decorating a wedding cake quickly when it comes to your wedding day, nobody wants to cut corners. Everything needs to be done perfectly, as long as that may take. Unless, of course, you just want to get internet clout, in which case, better work fast. Now, I don't know how this is done, but whichever genius decorated this cake, I have nothing but good words to say because this is unbelievable. Wedding cakes are some of the most elaborate and complicated cakes you can make due to the flowery and often intricate icing that ends up being piped on the top. But in just three minutes, this cake decorator transforms a plain white cake into an unbelievably complex wedding celebration. And I, for one, can't wait to eat it. Yeah, I know that technology doesn't exist. Let me be happy in my mind for once. Decorating cakes is not a matter of just slathering icing all over it. To make a beautiful wedding cake, you need precision and a creative eye. And whoever decorated this cake absolutely nailed it. There's no question about that. Plot twist? It was me. I mean, it wasn't, but you can't prove that. Number 2. Fastest Box Folder by now, I think we've concluded that Domino's has a lot of weird traditions, and now we have another contest to add to the mix. The Fastest Box Folder Contest. Only this one isn't really a contest because there's only one contestant. So that's fun. This man is Dale Amoro, Domino's Fastest Box Folder. He's owned 12 Domino's franchises and worked at the company for 27 years. But who cares about that? According to Domino's, Lamoro is is the most efficient employee when it comes to folding boxes. However, I'm pretty confident in saying that there are many current and former Domino's employees watching this video who doubt that Lemoreau's favorite pizza topping is pepperoni, and uh, that has nothing to do with anything, but Domino's was keen to share that information for some reason. Anyway, the point is that this guy has taken boring manual work and turned it into slightly faster, boring manual labor. And we like that here. Lemoreau is clearly a talented guy, and we have to admire the skills that go into folding boxes fast. I mean, I get cut when I pick up pretty much anything that came from trees, so I can only imagine the pain and trauma this man's hands have seen. Number 1. Vault Constructor Listen, I've seen Ocean's Eleven enough times to know that a vault like this isn't going to keep George Clooney and his men out. Thankfully, it's not that kind of vault. This is a Catalan vault, and it's a particular kind of construction that, uh, as you can see, is risky. The construction of the Catalan vault is totally unlike just about any other kind of bricklaying job. I mean, I don't even know how to explain the process. It's bricklaying with a little bit of added risk. At any moment, the bricks could fall and bring the whole thing down. Thankfully, you're looking at the pros doing their work, and if these vaults are properly constructed, they can withstand just about anything from earthquakes to floods and even wars. It's kind of incredible when you really stop to think about it. These brick layers are the absolute masters. This is so much more complicated than anything else you've ever seen, requiring a level of efficiency and precision that is almost unthinkable to us. And you know what? It turned out pretty well. I think even George would think twice before robbing the place. Uh, maybe. Probably not. So which of these workers impressed you the most? And what are you most efficient at? Let us know in the comments. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!